Mr. Musky, Walleye Bass. Here comes Mr. Show. Okay, here we go. Woo! Hey guys, Big John here. Hey guys, Big John here. I, I, I edited everything anyways. <laughs> uh, so today, guys, I'm with a, a longtime friend, uh, Mark Henderson. We used to be co-workers. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, so now he's into woodworking and he owns River Canard Woodworking. So um, yeah, is it a business, a hobby, or what is it, Mark? More of a hobby, John, uh, to be honest. Uh, started doing this while I was still working, but I ended up retiring a few years back and thought, what am I going to do now? So I turned this little hobby into a bit of a business now. So awesome. it's not tons of money, but it's fun. It's something to do. It gets me out of my wife's hair. And, a little uh, less stress in a life? A little <laughs> less stress compared to what I did before, but uh, it's, it's just fun. And yeah, I I love it. I awesome. Enjoy it. And guys, if you look up, that's the fruits of his labor right there. He just made that uh, for me uh, for the Grateful Shed. So yeah, it's, that's amazing work. Uh, how long did something like that take you to do, Mark? Like that that that's a lot of he, my, guys. He doesn't use a CNC. He doesn't. He does it old school, man. Like he does this all with the saw. And, yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm not going to speak for you, but that's how it's done, right? It's a scroll saw that I use, and a lot of people don't know what that is, but it's a very fine instrument that cuts letters or shapes, so we'll maybe show a few of those later. Uh, that sign probably took me about a day, and then the staining and drying and stuff like that took me a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, each one of those letters um, is cut by hand. That is three-quarter inch poplar. On a on the black and the white is a Baltic birch and then I put a little trim on the outside the black just to punch it out a little bit more but I think it turned out really nice. Someplace it turned out amazing, man. I, I was not expecting this <laughs> when I went over to Mark. I went I went to Mark's after work. He sent me a, a message. Uh, I was in Detroit this morning for work mm -hmm. and sent me a message saying, "Hey, your your sign's ready." So I said, oh, geez, so I popped by after work, and this is what I got, guys. It's it's amazing. Like, I, I swear, I just, uh, I wasn't even sure of the name of the shed. Uh, I I just called Mark last week and said, yeah, I think I'm calling it the Grateful Shed, and there we go. So it is the Grateful Shed, uh, and, and yeah, he did an awesome job on it. What else you got here, Mark? You got... Uh, um, I've got some scroll work here and a few things that, I, that I've done. Um, this is uh, a beer sign. Um, that's that's going to be CNC. That is scroll saw Come produced. Come on. <laughs> that is scroll saw produced. How? That took me a little bit longer. Um, so good beer, good friends, good times, blah, blah, blah. So um, this is my first time I really did some hand painting, and I've got one a little bit later, but that's, uh, that's a scroll piece. Uh, that took me about a day and a half again to do. Uh, this one I originally did for my daughter. Um, she's a nurse. Um, yeah, she's a nurse in uh, uh, Niagara Falls. So I made that for her. And once I posted that on my Facebook page, I got a bunch more uh, produced out of that. This one was, I normally start doing stuff for my... That's, that's awesome. You put some thought into that. I did. Yeah. <laughs> put a little color in there. Yeah. Uh, this one I originally did for my mother-in-law. She's British, so she's big into tea. Oh, awesome. Um, doesn't ask silly question. Tea understands. I don't like tea, personally. I love tea. <laughs> I, 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 I totally 180. <laughs> like, I don't drink coffee much anymore. Now I usually have, uh, like, every day in the morning, I have one of the steep teas. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. No. I'm a coffee guy. Which, black coffee. You ever see Mark give him a black coffee? <laughs> black coffee, please. So what I did with this one, and I've got tons of stains. So I oh, went. Here we go, black coffee. I went darker on this one, um, and um, haven't moved a lot of these, but it's a fairly new post. So that was a fun one to do. Coffee. Awesome. This one I did for Valentine's Day. Wow. Yeah. 
That's, you know, man, that's amazing. Like, that's almost like chip carving. It's, you, you know, mean? somebody said one day, they said, are you a craftsman or an artist? And I said, I wouldn't call myself an artist, but to do this type of detailed work, it really takes a lot of concentration. There is no alcohol involved in this, trust me. You there can't. should be. <laughs> no. There should be. I, you know what I want to do, guys? I want to set a GoPro up one day when he's got about six hours into one of these. <laughs> And just walk by and give it a little nudge, and I bet you you can wheel this thing about 50 feet out the back window. Well, I was telling you <laughs> earlier today, John, like, once you make a mistake with one of these, you can be, like, really deep into a cut and make a mistake. And then normally what I do is just kind of go out the back into the fire pit. Right into firewood, eh? That's where it goes. <laughs> here's, here's, here's something that I know a lot of my viewers are going to love. Is this a custom? This is a custom order. Um, so I tried different things on this piece. I elevated the musky a little bit. Um, it's uh, something that I wanted to try. And this is my design. Actually, most of the other things you've seen earlier are not my designs that I actually buy and, 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 and cut myself. But this fish, uh, the musky is elevated, the water is elevated. It's right. Nice. Tried some colors on it. It's cool. I remember getting a message from Mark on this one, guys, about this right here. John, how is musky spelled? Is it I E or Y? I couldn't give him a straight answer because you. I've always spelled it with the I E, but um, I know I see it all the time spelled with the Y. So leave it down in the comments, guys. Is there a, a, a proper way to spell musky, or is just both ways go? I I don't know. I can't tell you, but. I think it's a coin flip, John. Yeah, I, I, it's crazy. I don't know, but anyhow, I, I confirmed it with this uh, with this customer, and I said, "Are you sure that's the right spelling?" Because I've seen it both ways. Yeah. He said, "That's the way I want it spelled." So I can't believe he cut all that with the saw. <laughs> that's unbelievable. So that's like how many days of work? Uh, this was about two days work. Um, wow. Then this it's staining and painting because you have to. Uh, my shop, I keep it at least. Um, 65 degrees or 18 celsius for you folks that like that uh, but it still takes longer to dry so like florida in his garage i was there today when i picked up <laughs> when i picked up the grateful shed sign it's beautiful thank you uh so yeah and then you got you what else you got there yeah there? this is this is one last thing that i brought in. and this is uh these are charcuterie boards or cheese boards or whatever you want to do with them um these I I just started a, a, on a lark. This is walnut, okay. solid wood, and um, even the legs are, are wood. Yeah. Eh? So what I've done is, awesome. if you can see this, the reason I put the legs on it is so if there's a little dust on there, so you can pick it up easy yep. from underneath. But a lot of folks like to entertain with these and put meat and cheese and stuff on it. And, yeah. Um, I use. Um, uh, a wood safe oil that I put on top. It's um, uh, wax and carnauba rack wax and a few other things that are in there that make it food safe. So these awesome. I started doing in November and sold about 60 of these actually between That's <laughs> in amazing. about a month or so. So I got, I got an idea for you, Mark. So, well, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> what about those, uh, what do they call those uh, where they put the craft beers on something like this? Uh, it's oh. got the little, what are, what are those, uh, they, there's a name for it. They're called beer flights. Oh, beer flights, yeah, you can do beer flights. And actually my friends at Lot 10 in Amherstburg, um, I did up a bunch of beer flights for them. They're doing, oh, awesome. they're doing super good. And if Another want, local company, guys. If Lot you 10. want some good beer, try the Nuclear Sunset. Highly recommended, 7.5% alcohol. We're at, at Lot awesome. 10? At Lot 10. Okay, yeah, I'd have to... I'm not a beer drinker, guys, but I, okay, I'm one of those guys that I'll drink maybe two or three times a year, and I get a little bit tipsy. It doesn't take much, uh, so I'm going to have to try that the next time. I'm going to try the whole craft beer thing. Is it a craft? Is it art? Is it is it work? Is it a hobby? Is it a business? We don't, we don't know yet, but you're having fun with it. I'm having a blast. And it's a less stressful, and you're, you're cranking out amazing stuff. Thank you. And the only boo-boo that you'll see in this sign is from Big John because Mark gave me a great idea. He said, I, I was going to just screw right through it, guys, and, and put some screws in it. He said, you know what? Screw it from the back. So I did that, but I put a, 
I, you know, I got an inch and a half two by four, and then uh, this is about five eighths, uh, between five eighths and three quarter. Uh, so yeah, I put a, I put a two inch screw through, and yeah, I kind of poked through. You can see right there by the teeth. <laughs> so it's got a little bit of Big John in there now, but you know what? I just washered up the screws because I didn't have smaller screws, and uh, yeah, it's good now. But uh, yeah, you, you see that little hole in there? That's for me. That's not for Mark. It's super so. cool anyway, so it looks fantastic. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Mark, thanks for coming, man. Uh, like, I went down there today. You he, he said your sign's ready. I got off work. I rushed down there, picked it up, and uh, said, hey, why don't you come on the Big John Show? And we made it happen this afternoon. So try and get this video up for you as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming, man. Thanks, Big John. Be positive. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where I got that from. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Love you all. Big John's out. Be positive. Don't be negative. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, man. Cheers. <laughs>